So this is today's job. We're back at the extension where we did all that pattern and things like that. Um, today I need to somewhat put a scaffold up and do some soldiers across the steel. And then we've got some toothing in to do. So I just need to get the rest of those bricks out there and then run this across. So it should be a pretty steady day. Right, let's crack on. little tip for toothing out whether you grind or SDS drill um, work top to bottom because if you work your way up you end up snapping more and then once they're all loose like this one give it a whack and then you just literally wiggle it side to side And it becomes looser and looser and then you should just be able to pop it straight out sand this is today's setup barra working out of a barra nice elevated bricks what's that 500 550 mil uh saw and it might have been building with bud or bricklayers worldwide instead of twatting a pin in to your existing building and then having to repoint it just throw nails in little pins and it's just uh, a lot less mess and a lot less work after. And then on this side, once I'm above uh, to my door jam, I'm gonna use a corner block. Right, and there's a little bit of tray detail. I mean, it's not much, but better than nothing. I mean, the old house had nothing, so, you know. Right, let's crack on. So with the toothing, I get a little bit of muck on my trowel and then like shove it in, so like that. And then I give it a little for her. Nothing major. Put a brick as usual, and then I also throw a little bit of a perf on top, and then I try and slide that in. later on I'll fill it properly All I do to wipe my line up, I just hook it onto the course I want to do, and then I just pin in down there, and then that's it, ready to rock and roll. So it is 10 o'clock and this is where we're at. We've got 10 courses on. I've just flushed up the back of the block work because I just noticed there's loads of holes in it. I didn't do it, but uh, may as well flush it up. Um, so yeah, not too bad. It's going all right. Nice steady Friday. This is the sort of jobs we want, isn't it? 
So, a few more courses to go. Let's crack on. More fun. past time. There you go. Well, we're a bit late for the job, but... Well, ten past. Yeah. It's like ten past. So. And then by the time I've moved that, yeah. it's a, oh, I think I started laying at nine. Yeah. So that's not bad. Any birds on the go or what? Dog can tell the <laughs> Yeah? What, they, they want drugs from you or uh no, <laughs> not like the other you one. Nice girls, mate. You know what I mean? That's fine. I've realised my problem. What's that? Uh, for chicks while well, aren't they? You know what I mean? What? I need a what? I need pure a, dickheads. I need an educated you know what I mean? An educated bird. Yeah, I think that's what I need. Mean. Yeah. Posh posh. You know, family's got money. Get in there. <laughs> Get in the will. Boom. <laughs> It's 10 to 11. This is a stage wrap. I think that looks really tidy. These bricks are a pretty good match to the existing. Um, still loving this little pin set up here. It's just so easy. Just wrap your line on. So easy. I'm sure it was Britland Worldwide who said that. I'm sure it was. Could be builder with wood. Um, and then another thing. This house was done with a chariot. Um, so just like that however an old boy showed me that you don't actually need to use a chariot you can just use a wire brush and it gets the same effect this is all done with a wire brush and it gets the exact same effect as a chariot if anything it also cleans your brickwork a bit as well cleans all your harasses off so that's with a wire brush and that's with the chariot down there I can push push a bit harder if I want to to get it a bit deeper, but I think the finish with the wire brush is definitely much cleaner and tidier than the finish with the uh, chariot. Just cleans all the harasses off the brick really nice. So I reckon I'll be doing that. So we have two courses left. Um, insulation's all in and packed, so that's nice. This course is going to go in really nice, but the lintel, what's already in, is kind of bowing. So if you can see on the video, you can see it's got a bow in it. So when I get this top course of bricks in, it's going to be dead, dead tight. So I'm probably going to pistol my bricks so leave the face and cut it at an angle so it slots in nice I reckon that's going to be the best way to get over that otherwise it's just going to look shit so let's see how we get on right so that's how I'm putting the brick in damn and now I just need to pack it up a bit not bad finally after God knows how many years, I've bought one of these, a tuck pointer. Steve and Alex, um, I think that's what that's what they're called on YouTube. Uh, they suggested it, they watched one of my videos and they're like, man, you need one of these. Or they were using one, I think. But anyway, it's just the best way to fill twos properly and nice and full. So, definitely get one.
Okay, so we have done. It went okay. That top course just needs a lot of compo and filling and a bit of tweaking to get quite pretty. But overall, they don't look too bad at all. I think that looks pretty tidy. Pretty tidy. Now, I've got to take down this scaffold, what someone's handballed here, and put it up here so I can finish my soldiers. What a joke. I fucking hate spanners and scaffolding. You took that scaffold down, didn't you, Jovo? What happened? <laughs> what happened, Joe? You're smashing someone's window, mate. No, mate, it's the wind's fault. Wind's fault, is it? So, I don't, I don't think we'll be putting the scaffold up, will we, Joe? No, we'll, we best leave it for the professionals. We look like scaffolders. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought I thought scaffolding was easy. Yeah. It's, it's clearly not. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't want to put people's lives in danger. That's it. Fucking definitely not mine. There we go. Done. I think that looks pretty tidy. I don't think once these have weathered, I don't think you'll even tell there's a door here. Really, really pleased with that. Pretty nice, pretty nice pointing as well. Looks mint. Really pleased. Um, what are we going to do now? We were going to do, go do the soldiers around there, but uh, I don't think we will.